This is the 71 455 HO intake manifold we looked at in another video. It's reproduced by the parts place. I think most of the aftermarket throttle body fuel injection units will bolt to a spread bore flange. But I think all of the units are square bore Venturi, so we got to modify the flange in order to get one to work. Taped up the carb flange, hoping to keep from scratching up the flange too bad. Put a couple pencil lines on there that I want to use as guides for cutting. I put a metal blade in my jigsaw and thought I'd give that a try and see how that worked. Well, the jigsaw is just not going to quite cut it. It's just too much material and it doesn't have enough of a reach. So, we're going to get out the sawzall. See if I can get in there and get it cut with that. So I don't want to grind it all out with a, with a rotary tool. It'd take forever. Well, it's a little more work than you than you might think, but uh, it's a start. And I had to use the, the sawzall on the deep side, and I used the jigsaw on the narrower side. Got to have a little bit of patience. You know, I got my tools out here. I'm going to start grinding on the intake plenum. And I got my trusty old rotary tool here. I've had this for many years. And I got a few different cutters. I use the the non-ferrous cutters with the, the pretty aggressive flutes. Those work pretty well for aluminum. I'm going to give them a little squirt of WD-40 every now and then to keep them from clogging up. And i got some hearing protection and some safety glasses. And i got the intake. And this little step stool here. So I don't have to bend over too far. I'm going to work on the easy side first. So I'll get in here, clean this up. I'll taper this and then uh, I'll round this off right here. And after that, we'll move down to uh, this side here where there's a significantly more, more material that needs to be taken out. And I know the light's not real good here. I'm uh, grinding on this in my back patio in the shade. But you can see here, we've ground out this side, tapered it up front. Still need to round off that piece, but I'm going to flip the intake over to do that. And uh, you know, we tapered the edge here and started tapering the edge right here. I'll have to get some more of that done. Then we came down to the bottom, and this is flattened out down here, and we kind of tapered it from this point down to where it's more flat on the bottom. And get in there and rounded that out. And took the edge off here as well. You know, probably come back in with a sandpaper roll when, when I get all the rough cutting done. And uh, do a final cleanup on it. Alright, so now flip it over and Work on the other side. Well, the shallow side of the plenum now is ready for sandpaper rolls, and I may get up and true this up a little bit more once I get this side done. You can see there's just a ton of material in here I gotta get out. So I just have to be a little bit patient and make sure I got my cutter lubed up and just take my time. Alright, I gave it a quick rinse, and I think I got it roughed in. You can see the pencil line there where the holly gasket is. I know this light isn't the best. 
It was just a whole bunch of material in there that had to be cut out. After roughing in the plenum, I wanted to make sure I had enough clearance for a square bore flange. I didn't have a four hole gasket, but I did have a four hole taper spacer. Just flipped it upside down and took a fine tip sharpie and traced the areas onto the plenum flange that uh, were still exposed. And here you can see what it looks like, the areas I need to go in and trim. The intake manifold definitely has some quality issues and the intake runners, you know, it's just obvious from looking at them that they're not quite right. So I took an intake gasket and that same fine tip sharpie and traced the openings onto the manifold and kind of gives me some guides on where I need to go in and trim this up to get it to have a more uniform opening. At this point, all of the intake runners have been gasket matched and several of the runners, it I took a bunch of material out. I did some minor porting to the runners. Um, any of the ports that had bosses down into them, I cut all those out, ground them out and blended it back in. And the ports where I needed to widen the ports, the material I had to cut out to make the port the gasket size, I also cut that back into the intake runner as far as I could. All right, we have all the cutting done. I also went in with the sanding roll and did a little cleanup and blending. And you can see how much narrower the plenum divider is. Went in and cut a bunch of material out of that. And it's blended in the bottom and tapered a little bit so it's not so sharp on the edge. Another photo that shows how much narrow where the plenum divider is. I considered notching the divider, but I think I'm going to hold off on that and maybe just use an open gasket. And here's the uh, runners. They're trued up to the gasket. There's still some areas where the port's irregular, but there's nothing I can do with that unless I welded up the port. And so some of the port areas are actually going to be larger than the intake runner and the heads. But without going in with a welder, you know, there's just nothing you can do about it. So here they are. They're trued up as best I can make it. And I say they're gasket matched, which doesn't necessarily mean they're port matched. But I've cleaned up the intake manifold as best I could. And I think it's okay to use it like this. I don't think there'd be any major reversion issues. One thing I'm kind of tossing around in my head is since the intake manifold plenum has been clearanced for a square bore flange, I'm thinking about welding on the intake, building it up so that there's enough material where you could uh, drill and tap for a square bore holly flange. And if I went and did that, then the Intake manifold would be a universal intake. You'd be able to use it with anything. You could use it with a quadrajet, throttle body fuel injection, a traditional square bore flange holly carb. Not going to bolt the intake on the motor until this winter, so, you know, it's something to think about.